I used to go out in the boat like that. Dad used to have it. And we used to go fishing out, out in that. He used to come home from school and go, and go out on the weekends. Yeah. And I remember we had one of them. Make and break engine. Yeah, and we made up this trailer. We made this up home. We put this, went in the Prince of Autumn, bought this ranch. <laughs> That hauls were on as you've seen today. <laughs> the Marolas come from the bowling alley. I got a whole bunch of them, I made them. And they work out well, really. The boat is around 60. Might be a little bit older, right? But so I'd say around 60. Because <laughs> Peter had her for a while. Then Joni had her for a while. Then I got her from Johnny. That's to steer your boat. Sometimes fellas don't steer her right, she's crooked, so. <laughs> so and this is the blade of her. That sends her along when she goes. <laughs> make and break because <laughs> they only make the skip up and skip down. <laughs> yeah. And these engines just runs with gas. Lunenburg family made them in 42 when the war was on, I guess. And everybody had one pretty well around that went lobster fishing. Putt putts, we used to call them. <laughs> we were putting along. They're a straight engine. You just go up and down. It's simple to run. First thing you gotta do, you gotta give her a little gas, right? Which we got down there. You just give her a shot of gas, and then you close that valve off. You're supposed to give her a kick, and she's supposed to go. Boat 20 in Little Harbor had these boats. Some of them were a bit bigger than that one, right? That's only a 29 footer. But back then it was, we used to row up to, we had a camp off of Little Harbor, Stevens' Island there. We had a camp there, Dad and them used to stay out there all week. So. We used to go out on the weekends and come in with them on Sunday. Sunday was no hauling traps, so we had a holiday. <laughs> yeah. And when Dad left, he left us the boat. So I sold the boat to Norm Hot. He had the engine out of her. Then I put a car engine in her. <laughs> so. And I loved to fish in her for three years. Then we took her up to Blanford and we loved to fish up there three years with her. All fishing was good. It was good. We didn't have the quotas like they got now. <laughs> Tell you how many you can bring in. No, we used to, we only could bring in forty two thousand. That was the limit. Oh, I went overboard a couple times, <laughs> but we got back on the boat again. <laughs> if I wouldn't know that to swim, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I was mate with uh, Lunenburg on their trawlers. I was there for eight years, mate. 
We used to go everywhere, looping lines, <laughs> mostly St. John's. But we had good trips. Net fishing was our most most on the shore here was net fishing. We set for mackerel right out in strings. Yeah, we set strings. We used to have six to seven in a string. That was mostly poly, some kind of cod, but you get every, everything in them because sometimes the fish swims up after another fish. I fished the cod trap, Calvin Parker. We fished it up to Pugwash one year. We just went up there to set it all up. We got it all set up and they fish, they look after the gear. You get a card back then, you oh, almost big as you. <laughs> there were some big fish. No, no more big fish no more. No. I started fishing, I was Oh, I fished out of Lunenburg 18 years. Then I decided to get my own boat and come home. So I bought a 42 footer, came home and I fished myself the rest of the time. Till I got to 65, then I quit. Fishing was most of my Life was all I ever done, really. This calls to Carolina because the kids were just born when I was finishing this, and they were in the shop in the boat, and they said, Grampy, call her Carolina because Kyle was there and Lena was there. So <laughs> we, that's what we named her, the old Carolina.